My name is Arash Mimi. Uh, oh, by the way, sorry, before you ask a question, on the, on the side here we have a uh, young gentleman with clipboard and uh, email list. If you're willing to give us your uh, you know, email address, we'll keep you updated on the progress of the film, and also we'll connect you to the uh, Evolver network. So if you want to find out what we're doing with Evolver Chicago, uh, he's, he's your man to uh, chat with. Go ahead, sorry. Uh, my question is for you, Mr. Pinchback. Um, I actually, I don't know if you remember, but I posted, I got a, a paper on the Norwegian Spiral on, uh, what was the website? Uh, not Evolver, but uh, Reality Sandwich. Reality Sandwich. Anyway, my question is, the thousands of people you talk to, have you talked, how many scientists and engineers, like, how do you see the role of science and technology in this new paradigm? I, I, Crucial. I mean, the role of science and technology is, is, is totally crucial, but I think like um, a lot of, um, you know, a, a lot of, from my perspective, my personal perspective, a, a lot of scientists feel that they're, you know, non-ideologically biased, that they're quote-unquote objective, uh, but, actually, but actually they have an ideological bias towards, uh, you know, a skepticism or, or a way that they tend to fit data or try to fit data into, into a certain framework. So, so for me, like we're at a point where like the work that Dean Radin did, he's actually uh, in our film. I mean, he, he does you know, scientific research into psychic phenomena, and he wrote a book called The Self-Aware Universe, where he analyzes statistical data of a century's worth of psychic experiments that, that he feels pretty much irrefutably you know, demonstrate the, the, you know, that there's a validity to um, psychic capacity, psychic energies. You know? So, so you know, but, if, but if you go to a hard scientist, he will, he will, you know, most of them will negate that research, you know, without even reading the book. Like, oh, the statistics were interpreted in a certain way. So it's okay, so then there's no particular way that you can get through that kind of mindset. So that, I think it's like, you know, I mean, the, the Thomas Kuhn, right, wrote the book about scientific paradigms, and how sometimes you simply have to wait for a certain, you know, cadre of scientists to retire or die off before, before a new paradigm becomes uh, available you know, on, on a larger level. And I think we're in that transition period. And we're seeing it right now with you know, psychedelics. I mean, for, um, you know, since the 60s, for 40 years, you know, they, they didn't allow anybody to do uh, legitimate research in, in psychedelics on, on human subjects. Now, for whatever reason, because enough people from the 60s reached a position of authority, before, because enough time passed, before some, because some subliminal change uh, took place in, in, in our collective psyche, now there's a renaissance happening in psychedelic research. So you have um, studies in psilocybin, the active constituent of mushrooms for uh, treating obsessive compulsive disorder or cluster headaches or depression. Uh, you have very interesting studies using uh, MDMA, also known as ecstasy, for treating uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. I mean, this has been available you know, since the 60s. People had even done you know, to similar types of studies back then, but the paradigm, the mainstream scientific paradigm, shut it down and wouldn't allow for it. So, so for me, um, you know, there, 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 there's, you know, ideology is inescapable, uh, but, but you know, hopefully the ideology shifts so that it allows for a more open um, approach and exploration of a lot of subjects that, that you know, science up to this point has not wanted to uh, think about or to allow into the discussion. I think that's it. Thank, thank you so much for listening. Nice, so um, please stick around. Uh, Paul is gonna have his uh, talk. Yeah, Paul is next, he's gonna be amazing. And then at 5 p.m. we're gonna show the film. And then some of us are gonna be here after the film to do a brief uh, Q&A uh, where you'll have more data and, and um, uh, it'll be fun to, to see your smiling faces even more. Okay, thanks. Also, please come to our booth, 4014. We have uh, a series of DVDs and other materials, Daniel's books. Also tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. At, if you can't see the film today, tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. at Facets. Uh, Cinematech will be uh, doing a Chicago premiere. You can, uh, there's only 120 seats in that theater. We're also selling tickets for it here at our booth. So if you can't make it this afternoon, come by and you know, here's Paul. Thanks for listening, guys. Thank you, guys. So stick around. DJ is coming up, and you're going to be in for a real treat. Thank you all. Let's give it up a warm, green festival. Thank you for these amazing work of this, these people.